Hey everybody, I want to talk to you about some bike carrying solutions while touring your RV. We uh, looked at some different solutions, really couldn't find anything uh, that fit or means that was affordable. We so. looked at some tongue mounted uh, bike carrying racks. Unfortunately, I don't think they were going to work out for us because um, we have four bikes that we need to carry. Most of the ones that we saw were for one or two bikes. Uh, we did find one that was uh, pretty expensive. It was a tongue mounted bike rack, but it was upwards of, uh, I think it was 750 bucks. So it really wasn't an option for us. We also looked at some bumper mounted uh, bike racks and with our particular trailer, uh, I didn't think that that would be a good idea. I don't think the bumper is rated for that. And after doing some research, um, I think we confirmed that that wasn't a good idea to, to hang four bikes off of our travel trailer bumper. So what we came up with was an MNJ Motors bicycle tailgate carrier. Um, we'll put a link to that in the description. But um, it was about $100. There was a coupon available. I think it took about 10% off. Uh, but it looks really nice and um, we'll actually show you a, a picture uh, of what we had to see, <laughs> try to come up with which ended up being pretty similar to a little homemade solution. But anyhow, this one, it'll carry about six bikes. Uh, as you can see, I got our, one of them mounted on here, fits in perfect. Uh, it's got a little spot where you can still access the, uh, the hatch or, or the uh, handle. Uh, one thing I did like is this particular one does block your backup camera uh, when it's on there, so but not a not a huge deal. All right, so it's got a um, nice soft backing on it. It's pretty thick. Lots of padding on there. We've got uh, pads, little straps to hold the bikes in place, and uh, I think it protects the tailgate really good. And then you've got some pockets for tools and accessories uh, if you want to do that. It's a super easy install. It took about two or three minutes to strap it on and um, that's pretty much right, it. So one of the options we looked at was the uh, tailgate uh, bicycle rack. I didn't think it was a good idea. This bumper is pretty thin and I, it's not, you know, it's welded onto the frame, but I don't think it's really designed to support more weight than the um, spare tire that's already on there. Uh, we did a little research on Facebook groups with Grand Design, the 265 groups, and uh, there were some mixed um, opinions about whether you should do it or not. Uh, we opted not to. We did see a couple of pictures where bumpers were tore off and had come unwelded and all that. So uh, there is some options where you can possibly get some aftermarket brackets put in that are welded in, but again, that's a pretty high cost to do that, I think, uh, along with the advantage of it is it's inexpensive uh, it's really easy to put on and uh, uh, you know fits our needs disadvantage of it obviously the bikes have to go in the bed of the truck and so that uses a little bit of your space up uh, and then you have to take it on and off uh, as you're you know when you're not using it so but we just consider it part of our uh, you know loading up the trailer uh, or getting everything loaded for our, our camping trip. All right, so this is what you do when you order a, a bike rack and it doesn't come in <laughs> in time. You have to <laughs> you have to make your own setup with a blanket and some cardboard. But it worked pretty good.